Hello, this is Matt. This is Mental Model Monday number four. Today I want to talk about issues in tissues. Uh, and this refers to the idea that <clears throat> some of the mental, emotional blocks that you have uh, can actually be physically placed in your body. Uh, you may realize that sometimes when an emotion comes up, it's associated with a tightening in your chest or in your throat, or you feel your shoulders scrunch up. And Issues in Tissues actually says that this leaves behind um, tissues that, that get a little scrunched together or a little more wound together than they had been. And, um, and this actually has effects on you. So I've had several stories of friends who have actually had the reverse experience where they've <clears throat> gone for a really deep tissue massage, just getting the massage. And uh, at the end of the massage, they've actually <clears throat> had their issues dealt with. They, they cried a lot and things, things were better. They, they, they were actually emotional issues that were dealt with based on dealing with the physical place where that issue manifested. Uh, and this sounds hippy dippy woo woo, um, and it kind of is. So what I want to do is give a few reasons why this might be and talk about uh, how you can use this in your own life. So I have a few stories I tell myself about why this works. And there's, there's also it's a crazy hippy dippy woo woo shit about um, like chakras and stuff. Here's, here's my hypothesis. So one idea is that uh, as you feel these emotions and, and you tighten up, uh, parts of your tissues tighten up and uh, become knotted, is that um, you're feeling hormones as these issues happen. You have hormones that feel the emotion. You have counter hormones that are trying to counteract uh, things going on. You have that, uh, that response there. And so as these muscles get tightened up, maybe some hormones get trapped in there and all you're doing when you're when you're uh, actually working with those issues is and actually working with those parts of your body is maybe untrapping some of those hormones both the pot, the hormones that feel it and the reverse hormones that feel it and this creates a sort of cathartic effect where you're feeling that emotion deeply deeply and you're able to work through some of your issues in that catharsis uh, that seems to be probably the least likely of uh, the three hypotheses to me uh, the second idea here that I have is maybe um, this tightening that happens in these different areas of your body or this these things that happen are sort of psychological defense mechanisms to help you lose focus on, on actually feeling the emotion and instead you're tightening these up and, and doing them. And uh, what you're doing when you release all that tension is maybe just allowing your body to get rid of that defense mechanism deal with the emotion on its own terms and as an adult and uh, with the tools you have now and you're able to deal with it uh, in the proper way and, and get rid of it in that way. And the third idea, and this is the one that I think is probably most likely, probably is most of the effect, is that when these body parts tighten and you feel the emotion, a, uh, a neural link is created between tightening emotion, tightening emotion. And because this tightening actually has a physical effect where your body, your body actually holds that, then there's always this, this trigger firing over and over and over again, constantly feeling some low level of this emotion because there's that tension built up over time. So what you're doing when you deal with these, these buildups is you're actually, um, you're actually getting rid of that constant trigger you're having and uh and it frees you up to to deal with the to, to to actually deal with it instead of just having it at a constant level so those are three sort of hypotheses or stories you can tell yourselves about why this works but i would really urge people to look into this stuff especially rationalists who are all in the head and think about some ways in which you can actually deal with issues through your body so some ways you can do that uh one Thing I would look into is myofascial release. Um, again, is this an accurate model of the word? The, no, it's a total pseudoscience. Is it useful? 
Yes. So myofascial release, I would recommend getting one of these guys. This is a lacrosse ball. And what you can do is run it over parts of your body and see where see where it hurts. Um, or you can you can get that through focusing. So I, I'm dealing with uh, not being able to express myself sexually in certain ways. And when I focused, I felt this tightness up here in my in my shoulder, in my chest, around. It was like a rubber band ball of, of judgment of myself and others. So one thing I've been doing to deal with that, among many, is just just working that out and feeling that pain. So I know the focusing hit on something real because uh, there's actually a knot there. There's a, a, a pain there when I push even just a little hard. And I can work through that. Uh, one way I can work through that is literally just working through the muscles. Uh, the other thing I would look at, again, another pseudoscience, but again, also useful, is bioenergetics. There's this guy, Elliot Hulse, on YouTube who goes a lot into this. And bioenergetics has developed a whole toolkit around dealing with issues purely on the on the physical level, which is super cool. So they'll like do things where they like bend their bodies in weird ways and see where the tension is. And then they're like vibrate that area or uh, they have they do a whole bunch of things. They have know how to like use your voice to vibrate your chest. They know how to um, they, they have like modalities where they where they massage and out those areas. Um, and so I would look into some of the bioenergetic stuff, look up Elliot Hulse and, uh, maybe use some of those tools, the shaking and the, the, uh, the vibrating your voice and things like that. Uh, and the cool thing about this, uh, that I found is that it's very hard to mess yourself up doing this. When you're doing purely mental techniques, you can create techniques that are powerful, but sort of overpowerful and can, can screw you up if you use them wrong. Uh, when you're doing the physical stuff, um, it sort of feels like you've built up these issues uh, over your lifetime and you're just putting yourself back to your natural state and just taking out the tension that was built up over time. Uh, the one thing you have to watch out for, uh, especially with myofascial release, is that some people can oversensitize themselves to pain if they if they push into it that much. Uh, but that's really the only issue I've found. So I urge people to play with this uh, and try it and uh, have an open mind and use this in their toolkit when they're dealing with with beliefs and emotions and um, trying to work through some of those. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.